So today I want to talk about something what you can buy when you don't care about anyone, you don't care about the opinion of your relatives, your neighbors, all the people who's around you. That's the beautiful 2010 Prius. And what's the good about it? This car has 500 plus thousand miles on it and it's still alive. There is no wonder because it's a Prius. So again, there is a lot of those cars on the market. There is a lot of cheap cars, salvage one or rebuild one or from the taxi cab. If you're going to come and check those super cheap Priuses on the Craigslist, they're probably going to be half alive, but you might going to discover there is a, like three or four different stages of different kind of paint. So the car used to be white and after it got yellow, the other ta taxi company bought it, it got green and now it's white. So when you check in that, that's like the wow, insane. And that car is going to be still alive because it is up for sale. So this car is not going to be for sale and it's not sellable unit. It's just a unit reminding myself and everyone the Toyota made it. So any Toyota can make it, not only this one, but this one particular, it just, you can put the monument for this unit because it's super strong, it's super good. I mean, still right now you can drive it freeway, you can drive it CTAC, it's super cold. The car is under control, so the steering wheel not bad. Uh, the shocks, they're really kind of softy and you might going to be uh, replace it, but I'm not going to do it. So the battery been replaced several times on this car, it's been put as the used one but over like four years i would say the battery rebuilt twice the engine redone once uh head gasket and there is no cost there is no cost of the maintenance the cost of the maintenance it's oil change again this car has a lot of miles and the engine is still original it still has a vin number because after 2012 previous they stopped putting the vin numbers on the engine itself so this one has original vin number on the engine and it's super rare for 2010 Prius. so because of that the oil you have to do not every 5,000 miles every three four thousand miles you have to do it it's burning the oil that's correct but it's not that kind of price i would say to buy the engine and switch it oil brake parts maybe once in forty thousand, and the headlight bulbs that's a common problem for the prius they're going bad constantly uh what else is going bad the small battery 12 volt the one is sitting in the trunk maybe once in two years you have to replace it and it cost about 100 maybe 120 to do so that's super cheap that's why sometimes in the city you might gonna see old Priuses like that driving they're all dirty they all like kind of on the bold tires it's not because the people don't have money because people they used to the car and the car not given any problem and they just ah it's okay they forgot how and what they're gonna do with the car how to do the maintenance why they have to do it because the car not given any problem they just keep driving there is a lot of homeless people driving Priuses and I was like what's going on but the Prius see a regular one you might gonna see people living inside the car it's just insane I mean I did see the old Mercedes as people living in but they're not driving they just living but the Prius you know they traveling all around the city today they're living in Santa Monica tomorrow they're living in Malibu and Newport Beach because they do have a Prius the one is never breaking up so they keep driving and keep living there is low cost of life so still that's the 2010 Prius and the design of this car it's not bad at all it doesn't look like super old car in good condition this car looks good in the white color especially so you can see there is a lot of uh wear and tear signs for example that's original door and original paint it just peeling off and somebody spray can it just to cover the the metal itself but it is a pearl it is a three-stage uh paint and the clear not peel enough yet some of the toyotas same production years they do have a problem with the clear and the clear just fading so this car white color it's not fading yet but sometimes it is appealing and you might gonna notice that too so the fuel efficiency on this car that's the best one from all generation of this body it's a fourth generation i think so oh no third right one two 2004 it's the second one yeah this is the third generation of the Prius in 2010 I think what they did they did max what they can so they can attract a lot of people the people who's gonna buy it keep driving and they're gonna say wow I want a new one so after two three years of lease they keep buying a new one but this car was so good and it's still so good 
people start getting it on the Uber and keep driving it. No problem. Uber bring you money. You don't have to spend any just payment for your lease. That's how this car become legend, an icon uh, for the Uber drivers. So every so most of the time when you see the Prius passing by, you're supposed to see the Uber sticker on the windshield like this car has. Because Japan, they produce this car, especially for Uber. I think somebody from Uber, from Uber called them and they say, you know, we're going to launch this kind of taxi and we do need a lot of drivers on the street. So please bring us something, make something really nice and strong. And Toyota say, you know what, we're going to give you Prius because we do have a technologies here in Japan since 90s, we're going to apply it for this car and bring it to you on your market. That's how this car got here and it's just insanely good in, at any point. Whatever you're going to point at, this car is built strong enough so you can keep going up to a million, maybe even more. Why not? I'm sure there's a lot of cars on the market. I'm sure, not on the market. I'm sure there's a lot of cars in someone's possession who has around million miles on it and the car keep going strong. So the plastic inside the car, not changing the color. It's not falling apart. The, uh, the seats, the interior itself, it is showing a lot of wear and tear because on that mileage, it's supposed to be. Otherwise, nobody drove it. It was sitting somewhere. So in general, car is really strong. What's going on under the hood? I mean, under the hood, we do have an engine. We do have a coolant reservoir tank, which is full. And I'm not adding any. Even this car already passed more than 40, I think it's close to 50,000 miles after the head gasket done and uh, there is just nothing going on here. The only reason why I'm opening the hood sometimes or somebody else because you have to replace headlight bulb. That's a common problem and uh, that's it. The design is still kind of fresh, 13 years old car. It looks okay. It doesn't look like it's brand new, but it looks okay, not ugly at all. If you're gonna do detail, polish it a little bit and clean it, nobody even gonna say this car has half million miles on it and it's still running, still driving, still AC blowing and there is no problem at all for daily usage. As you can see, there is a Uber sticker on the windshield and it's there for purpose. So as I'm not doing the super nice review about dimension, about the horsepower, what's the horsepower left and this and that, I'm just talking about the size because it's a used car, Everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people want it, a lot of people buying it. So what do we have in the trunk? In the trunk, we do have a lot of space. Again, the seats, they're going down. You can put a lot of stuff. What's cool about here, we do have a lot of space before the spare tire. Spare tire, we do have done it. All the tools, they sit in here. The small battery, 12 volts, it's sitting right there on the side, not like a Prius C. And space inside the trunk, just a lot. So if you want to hide some stuff, you can open it and put it down there. There is a lot of space here. There is a lot of space there. Since we're living in Los Angeles, and sometimes people might gonna check what's going on in the trunk and just try to break the window, you do have this nice cover. It's kind of used a lot. It's kind of used for 500 plus thousand miles, but it's still there, still alive. So you can cover your stuff and just not bring in more attention. You can put yourself if you want to. You can do some nice, uh, some nice dinner at the beach, you know, put some stuff here, some food and uh, it's good. I mean, the car is really good. It's good for the family. Uh, if you don't have enough money to buy something super decent, this car is really decent. You just, if you, if your mind gonna put yourself in this car, you're gonna enjoy it, believe me or not. Enough space for the stroller, enough space on the back for the kids and for the parents on the front. Plus, it's saving you money. And um, what about the crash test? I have no idea. I mean, I mean, Prius has been involved in super crazy accidents. You are probably gonna see a lot of videos on YouTube, but what I'm usually checking, if I wanna know if the people crazy or not, uh, you just going on the Copart or you go on the AI, whatever uh, websites where they sell junk cars, I'm not buying over there. Sometimes I'm selling some junks, but I'm not buying there. But you're gonna see what the Prius uh, looks like after the huge accident, it's just crazy. So the interior of this car, it's kind of not super huge, but it is big. So what's the common problem? Door panels, they are because when you sit inside the car, you're trying to put your whole body on a door panel. I don't know why, but they constantly break in constantly. Just not constantly, always. On the old Priuses, they do have the same problem. 
all of them. People just like not getting it. It's not the table, it's just the door cover, door panel. So what else? The blower motor for the for your EC, sometimes it's getting stuck. It's a $40 or $30 on Amazon. You can replace it yourself. It's a three screws on the bottom easily. If you jump in the Prius, you turn it on the EC and it's not blowing, just hit right there. And that's it. It's going to start working. After 500 mi 500,000 miles, it's been replaced several times and it's still sitting Chinese part for cheap just because I want to prove it. So I prove it and improve it. What's going on on the back? On the back, more than enough space. There is a small filter for the battery. Again, a lot of people, they don't know about it, but you have to clean it sometimes. Uh, just so the battery is going to suck a lot of fresh air, kind of fresh air, but uh, and it's going to cool down the battery. So your battery is going to keep living longer just because of that small filter. So you can easily jump on the back. There is a lot of space in the front and you, you can see the seat move back. And... It's not ugly. It is comfortable still. Even this car is kind of old. And the design inside the car, outside the car, it's not ugly at all. Because it is a famous, legendary Prius third generation. So that's the reality of life. I mean, that's the car, I would say, in the proper way, this car never gonna die. Because it's already proved itself 500 plus thousand miles and you can keep going on it keep going because if the engine gonna go bad you might gonna switch it and buy the used one or do the head gasket like i told you was done on this car for the whole life the battery itself been rebuilt like about three times and each time it cost me 500 to do so so it's unbreakable it's undiable and what the people been using for they've been using for uber so it's not on any platform you can rent it you cannot rent it anymore because this car it's going to junkyard simple as that uh it's already used itself but the idea of the prius the idea of the car itself long and i mean the idea of itself the car staying long enough if you're doing proper things you're doing proper maintenance and you know how to take care of the car this car can keep going up to a million easily i can feel it i can tell it yeah it's worn out all the seats they already they already kind of squashy you know the steering wheel falling apart and the plastic but still even the plastic working good the climate control unit was replaced the stereo was not replaced i think and uh, the carpet is gone the paint just peeling off all the panels everywhere but it's still alive it's still drivable it's still nice i can go on the freeway and uh, drive it on a high speed and it's going to hold the high speed so the shocks the shocks is gone all four needs to be replaced the engine is still alive still feeling good itself transmission never had any problem the battery like i said been replaced several times and it's not a big deal so the way 500 plus thousand miles car feeling it just feeling like a regular prius you can step on the gas and the car goes it's not flying but none of the priuses are flying the suspension feeling itself okay in general but the shocks are gone the steering wheel is still tight the brake booster brake pump abs pump i'm so sorry it's still feeling okay those all common problems of the priuses but suddenly this one is still alive still strong and driving good uh, so what's the main points the main problems and main points where you have to take a look sometimes and maybe fix it that's the battery so there is a lot of choices you can do when you're trying to fix it you can replace it you can replace it at the dealer for like million you can buy a rebuild one which is going to cost about 1500 maybe 2000 you can do rebuild from craigslist so it's going to last for about a year you're going to pay about five six hundred for the battery because the cells they everywhere the same and the engine when it's going to start knocking your coolant level going down means the head gasket is gone so if the head gasket is gone and you didn't drive long enough to damage the 
crankshaft itself and the bearings, you might gonna be able to fix it with only head gasket set and machine shop. So it's gonna cost you about 1200 to fix the engine. What else? There is nothing else. The Prius just goes. I mean, Toyota itself is doing really good. I would say tremendous job to make those kind of cars and engineering because the engineer whoever produced it whoever make it happen somehow uh, they just made an unbreakable car if you have the other opinion please share it with me or show it to me you have the other car you have 100 to 200 thousand miles you constantly having a lot of problems you cannot fix it but i'm going to tell you the opposite way this car 530 whatever 500 plus thousand miles the car still feeling good itself the ec is super cold uh there is no there is no warning lights the head gasket itself was replaced about 40 maybe 50 thousand miles ago it's still good the cone still up to full level and uh, no problem at all the oil change i'm doing constantly on all the cars and especially on this one the oil change going constantly and the tires brakes they checking it they they fix it when it needed so basically like i say this car i've uh, been used for uber all the time and uh people just didn't care whoever buying uh, whoever renting the car and driving it they're not going to drive it like it's their own car they're going to drive it as a rental so the prius doing still a really good job and still surviving it doesn't matter what the parts for this car some of them they are expensive but most of them they are cheap if we're talking about the body we're talking about something like inside the car and most of the junkers they do have it so there is a slight difference between 2012 2015 and 2010 2010 2011 so this is 2010 it's the first generation of the prius this uh body style and all the problems whatever prius faced this car 2010 used to face a lot that's the ejr that's the intake the head gasket itself and on and on and on small things but uh, it makes huge difference if you're paying attention and fixing it on time so thank you so much guys for watching it put some thumbs up put some comments below and see you next time